anytime you've ever been in a relationship with someone where you try to make something happen, um, you try to get make, make something meaningful, but months go by, maybe years go by, and the relationship fizzles out, and it just feels like you wasted your time. It feels like you you could be, you could have been doing something better, and, and that feeling of wasting your time creates bitterness for um against that person. It creates bitterness um, against yourself, and you don't know what to do with yourself because you feel like you wasted your time. The way I see it is this: anytime I get a client they, that that they feel like they wasted their time, where that they feel like they've been played, I always tell them this: listen, sacrifice this person in the altar of wisdom. Of wisdom, this person led you to come to me this person led you to watch my channel this person led you to perhaps even start meditating this person led you to perhaps start putting up some boundaries this person led you to perhaps realize that maybe you're not as the shit that you think that you are and now you're actually working on yourself it's the failed relationships that tells you who you really are it's the failed relationship that that makes you wake up it's the failed relationship that causes you to level up. So the way I see it is that, yes, failed relationships suck, right? Getting played suck, right? Having them get the last laugh over you really sucks. You want to choke the shit out of them. I get it, right? But this person is a very small price to pay for the wisdom that you're, for, for the wisdom that you're going to acquire in an attempt to to fix your situation or in an attempt to heal a lot of people when they're when they get played when they feel like they're not good enough a lot of people end up getting into spirituality a lot of people end up end up in a better position than they were before and the reason why is because mis failure is what causes people to self-reflect very rarely do people self-reflect in, in, in when you win Right, because a lot of the times when you when things go well, you give to you give credit to yourself too much, and you and and you and you and you sort of ignore how much luck had to do with your success, right? So it just gives you an overinflated sense of ego, and when you succeed, a lot of the times, success causes you to divorce yourself from from reality because you start thinking that you have some magical powers that you have this ability to to attract um the right person when in reality a lot of it is luck right and so failure apprentices you um, um failed relationships apprentice you in in failure right so yes it sucks that you lost them but at the end of the day you gain something infinitely greater and that's wisdom right um for example i remember the girl that i lost like this this gorgeous georgian girl not from not from georgia the the city the state georgia like just 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 my type people just my type lord have mercy oh god have mercy she's okay i'm on camera anyways and that relationship failed right um but in at the time i, I would have done anything to get to get her back and i couldn't i couldn't I had no control over that situation. So what I did, what I began doing is I began meditating more, reading more, working out more in an attempt to get her back, right? It didn't work out, right? Um, I actually, we met up a few years ago and and I was just trying to get that boomerang, poom poom, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, I'm, and it's like, unfortunately, you know, poom poom is not shaped like a boomerang. Dicks are. So dicks always come back because dicks are always bent in one direction. And I try to make a move and I'm thinking, you know, I'm like, this is the no mean, you know, people kind of know me, you know what I'm saying? And nope, she, she didn't go for it. I was like, fucking bullshit. Even to this day, I'm, I'm kind of tight. I'm kind of pissed off that it didn't work out. But you know what? When I think about it, it was because of her that I've learned all of this. It was because of her that I got everything that I got. Because of that failure forced me to introspect at such a deep level that it became a blessing and that's the way they, that's the way that i see it she was a sacrifice in the altar altar of wisdom the problem is that a lot of you guys have the sacrifice in your hand and you guys are not burning it you you, you know for some for a sacrifice to be a sacrifice you got to burn that shit where they're not screaming you got to burn that shit okay and you got to watch the smoke go up 
which means that you know you'll never have them again. But what you're doing is that you're sowing a seed of wisdom. You're improving your life. You just don't know it yet. If you learn from, if you learn a lesson from this person that that played you, and you actually learn your lesson and don't repeat it again, that person was a was a very cheap sacrifice for the wisdom that you're gonna acquire. All of you guys that are watching these, these videos, you and and actually applied what I did, you have sacrificed somebody in the altar of wisdom, and you have gained the benefits of it. Any, for me, for example, um, I'm not going to cry, people. Oh, my God, he's about to cry. We're about to see this for yourself. Shut up, Melissa, okay? Um, <laughs> um, like, for example, like, I do, I do, I go to meditation retreats, right? And I used to go to meditation retreats, but I never went to the silent meditation retreats, the 10-day ones, because it was really hard. And I was going to school and I was learning how to paint, but I couldn't focus. And I didn't want to try Adderall. I just didn't want to do it. And I said to myself, you know what? I got to learn to focus, but I can't do drugs to do this. It has to be another way. I cannot do... I have to learn to focus without Adderall. Because I used to do Adderall when I was younger. And I tried this, I tried that, you know? And then I heard about the 10-day meditation retreats. And then I'm like, you know what? You know, you know, I went to the 10 day meditation retreat not because I was well at, at that time I was partying a little too much and I'm not gonna lie, I was doing things that I shouldn't have been doing, to be honest with you. So I had two reasons. One, that I was partying too much and I was going to too many raves and it became a problem, like a little problem to be honest with you. But the bigger problem was the fact that I couldn't focus in school. And it was so easy for me to just take the easy route and take Adderall. Honestly. Like fixed but i wanted to do it naturally man i just didn't want to take it so because of that problem of not being able to focus i went to the retreats and me trying to fix that problem made me fall in love even more with meditation seriously i, I love meditation but not but now i like it even more and then i actually learned how to focus <laughs> you know but then I, I realized that i don't care about that anymore what I like is this meditation practice because I'm happier. And and so that's what will end up happening is that you're gonna do you're gonna watch my channel in an attempt to get this person back, but in the process of watching these videos, you gain something greater. And if you're wise enough and if you have your eyes open, you realize that the wisdom that you're gaining, not because of me, honestly, but, but the wisdom that you have, when I talk about wisdom, I mean your own insights. I talk about you come understanding something of yourself and then applying it in your life that's wisdom i'm not talking about wisdom that i'm saying oh coming from me no that's not mm -mm. i'm talking about your wisdom your learned experience that leads to behavior um to positive changes in your behavior that's wisdom the wisdom that you're gonna get is so much more important and, and beneficial than getting that person back again so many guys watch my channel, initially watched my channel to get girls. So many of them tell me how they meditate more now, how they're happier, how they actually pursued their purpose, right? That's the actual wisdom. It's the fact that these failure, these failures in relationships, if you use these, if you, if you know how to sacrifice them in the, in the altar of, of wisdom, will lead you to a more holistic and a more happier life in general. Because if you actually watch my channel, you'll notice that the titles can be a little misleading. You know, how to how to get the how to get this person back. You're like, oh my god, I'm about to get my I'm about, I'm about to get this person back. And then you watch the video and you do learn how to do that, but that's 10% of the content. 90% of the content has something great, has a greater purpose. And that's like I almost use these things as like a Trojan horse to actually give you what I really want to give you. And that's knowledge of yourself, knowledge of who you are. And you can never really know who you are by just thinking of yourself because your ego always makes you look better in your mind than you really are. Nothing tells you who you are more than your failures. So that's what I'm, what, what I'm here for. I'm here to present your failures in a different light. 
a light, a more positive light, a light that's more empowering, if that makes any sense. You know what I'm saying? You guys got this, man. Um, Don't see, like me, like, look, man, for example, like that, I, I was dating a girl. She had a good boyfriend. It didn't work out. Sucks, right? But it taught me one of the principles that I teach in this channel. And that's when things start fast. They usually end fast. And I remember she was saying to Alexis, you're not to share in your videos that you say that. And I'm like, yeah, but nah, I don't think I'm right in this situation. Father, that's Father Alex. This is this is Daddy Alex. This is that's a different person, Father Alex. You know, that, that's just on YouTube. This 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 is different. Nope, Father Alex was right. Father Alex was right. It is kind of insane when you watch your own videos telling you the Alexis. You know, you don't you don't even believe me, nigga. Like, goddamn, I'm, this is you, bro. Like, and that's how it works out, man. Um, so if you lost someone and you can't get them back, just sacrifice them in the altar of wisdom. Just make sure you get something tenfold from losing them. If you break, if you manage to break my heart, I can promise you, I'm gonna make money off of that. I'm gonna see how you did it, and I'm gonna teach it in a nice way, <laughs> right? If you if you if you con me and and and, and you rip me off, I'm gonna see how you rip me off. What were what were some of the psychological strategies you did you did to rip me off? And I'm gonna teach that to help people not get ripped off, right? Everything that happens should be, should be sacrificed in the altar of wisdom and realize that the understanding of yourself and of and of human nature and of, and of life is and of life itself that you gain from learning from your mistakes sometimes it's just more valuable than the thing that you lost. It's honestly you can make it more valuable if you want to. That's the beauty about this. You can make it valuable if you want to make it valuable. All right? All right, people, look, man. Um, um, I'm doing a 10-day meditation retreat in five days, I think. It's going to be hard for people, man. I'm not even going to lie, man. I'm, I'm, it's, it's not easy, man. It's not easy. It's, it's like getting... You know, it feels like you're. It feels like the minutes before you get a shot in your hand, you're kind of nervous. That's how it feels like, man. But hopefully, it turn. Hopefully, it's great. Uh, hopefully, I, I will grow from it. Jesus Christ. Hopefully, I don't quit. Um, because every moment that I'm there, I want to leave. I'm, if I'm being honest with you, but you just don't. You just don't leave. <laughs> uh, anyways, man. Um, so. From the 7th to the 18th of this month, you're going to be seeing videos, but those videos were um, uploaded previously. Like today, I'm, I'm making videos for those times, for the, for the days that I'm not going to be here. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy those videos and um, wish me luck, okay? And I'll see you guys later. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the first time I'm ever going to offer this, all right? And it's a bundle. <laughs> Look at my dog right here. <laughs> and it's a bundle deal to purchase all of my courses while being able to have a talk with me. So the way that this works is that you guys can purchase a psychological game of attraction, natural chemistry, and nice girl while being able to purchase a 15 minute call with me. Um, so naturally a 15 minute call is $99 for the meantime people until I start classes again, uh, which will go out when I get start classes. But now you'll be able to do that at 50% off all while being able to purchase my my first three courses that i ever created these courses are pretty much everything you need in terms in terms of your dating life so it's all you get everything at 249 now the way that the dub that this works is that the reason why i created this is because usually the best results come from people talking to me on the phone and then watching my courses now i always tell people purchase my courses first right but some people have individual situations that they need guidance in. So this is the opportunity to be able to get all three things while being able to talk to me. Okay? So click on the description down below. Purchase it in purchase it while it's limited before I start classes again. And I'll see you guys inside.